All right, in section 2.3, we're going to look at the modern view of atomic structure. So we'll actually look at what's inside an atom. Um, so you can, just for fun, I wrote over here, you know, when different um, particles were discovered. So you have protons, neutrons. Um, protons are positively charged. You probably have heard that before. Um, and they have a mass of about one atomic mass unit. Uh, neutrons are neutral, there's no charge. They also have a mass of about one atomic mass unit. And uh, an electron is negative. Um, so protons and neutrons are in the nucleus, they're inside, and electrons are outside. So protons and neutrons inside, electrons are outside the nucleus. Um, electrons also weigh uh, just a, a fraction of the, an atomic mass unit there. So when we're talking about atoms, we're talking about ne neutral. They are, the atoms are neutral. If it has a charge, then it's not called an atom, it's called an ion. So first we're just going to deal with atoms. Atoms are neutral, no charge, which means the number of charged particles have to equal each other. So if I have uh, protons, and remember protons are positively charged, uh, and electrons are negatively charged, in order to have something that has no charge, I need the number of protons to equal the number of electrons. Um, so that's going to be important later when we try to figure out how many protons, neutrons, and electrons are in a, uh, a given atom. Symbols of atoms. Um, so the symbols, right, you can find in the, um, the symbol itself you can find in the periodic table. So the periodic table is usually hanging in the classroom. Um, you'll always have access to one on an exam, but here's a periodic table. So you can see they all have you know, one or two letter designations. So carbon here is C, but calcium is CA. Um, if it has two letters, then the, uh, the second one is always uh, lowercase. Um, so, th so those are your, the elements are symbolized by one or two letters. That's all that that's saying. Uh, the atomic number, so the atomic number is the number of protons. So the number of protons uh, is the atomic number. Um, so you'll see that, that the elements are arranged by an increasing number, uh, increased at atomic number. So hydrogen has an atomic number of one, helium is two, lithium is three, and so on and so forth. So the atomic number is the, uh, the number of protons. So we arrange everything in the periodic table by counting up the number of protons. Um, and that, the number of protons always corresponds to whatever element you have. So carbon always has six protons. If it had seven protons, it would be nitrogen. So those numbers are always going to go together. Six is for carbon, seven is for nitrogen. That's never going to change. So atomic number is the number of protons. All atoms of the same element have the same atomic number. So all carbon atoms have an atomic number of six. Mass number? The mass number is the number of protons plus the number of neutrons. So the mass number is protons plus the number of neutrons. Um, and so the, the mass number, the, the way you're gonna sorry, the way you're gonna write the, the sil the symbol is going to be here you have the symbol, so carbon, and then up on top you have the mass number. So you have 12 for, for this particular isotope, and then six is always gonna go on the bottom for carbon. So the, the atomic number is on the bottom, the mass number is on top, remember the mass number is the number of protons plus neutrons, so the mass number is always gonna be greater than the atomic number. And the atomic number is always gonna go with uh, with the symbol. They're never, that's always gonna be the same. Um, but the mass number can change because you can have different types of isotopes. So an isotope, or isotopes, they have to come in pairs, they're atoms in the same elements that have um, different masses, so they have a different number of neutrons, so they're going to differ by their number of neutrons. The number of protons has to be the same because they're the same element. Remember, like all carbon atoms have six protons, but you can have different isotopes of carbon. You can have carbon, uh, wow, this is really small, carbon 11, 12, 13, 14. Um, number of protons is always going to be the same. Number of electrons will always be, the, always be the same, as long as it's not an ion. If it's an atom, then the number of protons has to equal the number of electrons, so those numbers are going to be the same, um, but what's different about them is their number of neutrons, which will affect their mass number, because the mass number is the protons plus neutrons. So in an isotope, the only thing that's different about them is the number of neutrons, and so um, that will change the mass number, of course, and so they'll have a different number up here on top. So let's play a little game. Let's see, how many protons, neutrons, and electrons are in uh, barium-138? All right, so barium-138, let's see, let's write that down here. So barium-138, so 138, what does 138 mean? Is that the number of protons, is it the number of neutrons, is it the number of protons plus neutrons? 
What is that? Well, that's the mass number. And barium is down here. Uh, and so it's missing the atomic number. So we can look that up really easily because we know what element we're talking about. So we'll go back to our periodic table. Uh, and you can see barium right over here. Here's barium. Oh, it's not going to let me circle barium, but that's barium over there. Uh, and barium is element number 56. So that means it has 56 protons. So I'm going to put 56 down here. And that's always going to be true. Barium is always going to be 56. So number of protons has to be 56. Number of electrons also has to be 56 because protons are positive, electrons are negative. There's no charge. If there was a charge, it would be over here. And then I would know I had an ion. But I have a neutral atom. because They tell me here it's an atom. Atoms don't have any charge. Uh, so now all I have to do is figure out how many neutrons I have. Well, I know the mass number here is 138. I know 138 is the mass number, and that has to equal the number of protons plus the number of neutrons. If I know that I have 56 protons, then I just have to subtract that from 138. So I'll do 138. 138 minus 56, and you can do that. That's just 82, so you have 82 neutrons. All right, so for barium-138, I have... 56 protons, 56 electrons, they have to be the same because it's neutral, and the way I got the number of neutrons was I looked at the mass number, which is 138, that equals protons plus neutrons, subtract how many protons I have, and then I'll be left over with how many neutrons. So at this point you can kind of pause this video and you try to work on B all by yourself. Alright, so an atom of phosphorus uh, 31. This is another way to write the, the mass number, that dash 31, that's the mass number. So that's telling us that the mass number is 31. Um, so I need to look at phosphorus. I want to write it this way, phosphorus with a 31 on top. So I need to figure out what is the atomic number for phosphorus. So also you, you had to be able to know that phosphorus was uh, represented by the symbol P. Um, in your in your textbook, the cover has um, a periodic table, and it also has the elements listed in alphabetical order, and then their symbol right next to them. Um, so if you're if you're not sure how to do this just yet, uh, sometimes it's hard to to look look the element up in the periodic table. You don't really know where you're looking at. Um, but you'll always have a periodic table on the exam, and the ones that I use have the name underneath it as well. So you can always, um, you don't have to memorize the names, they'll be written on the periodic table. So phosphorus is right here, it's element number 15. So that means there are um, 15 protons. All right, so protons for this part, 15. So how many electrons would that be? 15, good. And... Uh, neutrons. How do I find the neutrons? Just what I did before. I take the mass number, which is 31, and subtract from that 15. So that's going to give me 16. All right, so I have 15 protons, 15 electrons. That means plus 15 minus 15. That's neutral, good, because I don't have a charge here. And then to find the neutrons, um, I do the mass number minus the number of protons. So there's a bunch of homework problems that look just like this um, that you can try. Here's one more. Give the complete symbol, the chemical symbol for an atom that contains 82 protons, 82 electrons, and 126 neutrons. So if I know how many protons I have, then I can figure out what, what element I'm dealing with. So let's go back to the periodic table. Look up element number 82. So where is element number 82? Here we go. PB or lead. Lead is element number 82. All right, so that's PB. Now, where does that 82 go? It's going to go on the bottom here. And I need to figure out what the mass number is. Will they tell me how many neutrons I have? It's really tempting to put 126 there, right, because that's the other number that they give you. But we want the mass number, which is the neutrons plus the protons. Protons, that's 82. So when I add them all up, that's my mass number. And that's going to be 208. 208. All right, so up here we have 208. So that's the chemical symbol for this particular isotope. Now, uh, so this is for, for lead 208. That's another way to write that. Now, be careful. Let's go back to the periodic table really quick. All right, so you might see down here on the bottom part, um, they give you they give you a, a mass there. That's, a, that's an atomic mass, but that's 207.2. Um, 
we don't have a decimal place. We're not rounding here. This number down here, we're going to calculate that next. That's that's from the average, that's the average atomic mass of all the isotopes. When we're doing these kind of problems, um, we're just looking at one particular isotope. So the isotope that has 82 protons and 126 neutrons. There are other commonly occurring isotopes as well. Maybe there's one that has only 124 neutrons or 127 or something. Um, and so to find that number in the, that's listed in the periodic table, you have to take an average of all those isotopes. We'll do that next. For now, all, you don't, the only thing you need the periodic table for is to look up what, what element symbol goes with how many protons, the atomic number, and just to relate those. The mass number comes from looking at the number of neutrons and the number of protons. Don't use the mass number in the periodic table. That's an average of all the isotopes, and you're only looking at one particular isotope right now.